Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. As y'all can see from the time down below, in today's video, I will be giving out a product review on the Gobi LED light strips. So just to start off, this video is not sponsored in any way possible. I bought these back in like March of last year, and I've had them for a hot second, bought them my own coins, all of that. So I got this from Amazon and I paid about $21.99 for it. If you see me looking at it, it's because I'm looking at my notes. But when I look back at the listing on Amazon, it did look like it got cheaper. So you might be in good luck depending on whenever you see this video. Just to go on a couple specs about the light strip that I got, I got the 16.4 foot one that comes with an adhesive on the back. It's a Bluetooth enabled and it has, which means that you can use like the remote that comes with it or you can use an app that we'll get into a little bit later. It does have a music mode as well, so it can flash on and off to the music or to the beat or just any sound that's in the area. And it comes with an alcohol prep pad and clips that you can stick or screw onto the wall. So let me just show you what comes in the box. This is the box that I got. Here's a little wheel that it came on. It's only 16 feet, so the wheel is pretty small. Then it, they give you another thing, I guess, to like review it and you get a one year extended warranty if you register your device, customer support, directions on how to install them. And then there's this little thing right here. And then when you open that part up, you get your alcohol prep pad that I showed y'all about earlier. You get these little adhesive hooks and some screws that I also told you guys about earlier. So I guess this would help if you want to put it on the wall, just to like reinforce it around corners or something. Of course, I didn't use them. That's why they're still in this little baggie. And then you have the remote that it comes with. And then that's about it that came in <laughs> the box. I just took my LED strip lights down to replace it with another strip light that I'll be reviewing soon once I get a little bit more used to them. So it's just all over here. I cannot attest to this little 3M sticker that's on the back. I've heard that a lot of people have problems with them and they stick them onto their wall, they stick them onto their TV or whatever it is and it falls off. When I use these on my wall, I didn't use that tape. Not for that reason, but just because I knew that it wouldn't be permanent. It wouldn't be something that I was keeping on for a long time. And I wanted to be able to use this multiple times in many different areas. So when I use this on my wall, I just use like regular, like clear gift wrapping tape, basically not gift wrapping tape, not gift wrapping tape specifically, but like, you know, the small tape that you would see on a desk or something. Ask your parents or whoever you live with or if you're at school, make sure that it does not take off the paint. It didn't take off the paint in my room, but I'm just letting y'all know that before y'all start doing stuff and y'all parents get mad at y'all or whoever y'all rent with or whoever gets mad at y'all. But yeah, that's what I use and it kept them up for months now. It worked perfectly fine for me. Or you can use like command hooks or something like that as well. So, now to get into the pros and cons of these LED light strips, y'all can get what y'all want to get and get right back out. The pros, I would say, is the app. The app for this LED light strip is possibly the best thing ever. That's why if you see this remote that I have, it still has like the little thing in it because I really honestly did not use this remote. I used it when I first opened it and then I didn't use it anymore because I had other um, I had fairy lights in my room as well, and the remotes basically are all the same. You can use them to do all the same stuff. But because of how generic this remote is, the app does so much. I'll probably add a picture on the side so y'all can see, but you're able to customize the color, really do like a color wheel, pick whichever color you want. There are also different modes on there. So like around Thanksgiving and Christmas time, there'll be like an update that I saw recently. And here, it has like, different color changing modes. So like, of course there's like the usual fade, jumps, and flashes that you would normally get, but those are just gonna fade, jump, and flash in random colors. Then they have like different Christmas modes with Christmas colors and 
different Thanksgiving modes with Thanksgiving colors. So the app, honestly, I would say download the app if you can, if you have space for it, because it's it's like the best thing to use if you're going to be using the LED light strips. The next thing that I do like about this is that there's no big or a bulky like battery. That helps a lot when you're putting it on the wall because it did not fall down. Let me just show y'all. When you get it, of course it has a part that's plugged into the wall. It's plugged into my wall right now, so I can't show you that part. And then this is literally the only thing. So this is the part that goes from what plugs into the wall into the LED light strips. And then you have this. This is super duper lightweight. This is also how it becomes music enabled and like it changes to the music and all that. And this weighs nothing really. So if you want to take this all the way up to the wall, the weight of this is not going to make it drop or fall down. So that's like one of the biggest pros to this because compared to the other LED light strips that I've seen or the other one that I have, it's just, it doesn't compare. <laughs> then the next one is the price for what you're paying. I got it for $22, but now it looks like it's around like 15 ish dollars. And for this to be an LED light strip that is music enabled, that is a pretty good price. That's the main reason why this was the first light strip that I started out with because I wanted something that was music enabled, but also didn't cost a whole lot just so I could see what vibe it would give to my room. And for the price that you're paying, it is pretty good. Of course, there are other light strips on the market that are way better. And if you wanted to invest in that, I would suggest for you to invest in that. But if you don't have the money at the time, I would most definitely invest in this one first because it gives you a pretty good bank for your buck. Now onto the cons. Honestly, the music mode is not my favorite compared to other lights that I've had that are music enabled. The music mode is kind of one that, let me show you real quick. So the music mode that I thought it would be, would be, I thought that it would change to the sound, but you see this? Off, on, off. So the light does change to the sound, but it's basically off and then as it beats and sounds happen, that's when the light turned on. I personally didn't like that. I wanted the light that was steady on all the time, but it changed to the beat or to the rhythm. So I don't like the music mode personally, but I do see how it could help in addition to other lights. But this light by itself with the music probably wouldn't be the best light. So the music mode, it's okay, but I feel like it could be worked on. I feel like it could be better. And I'm not sure what other LED light strips with music are like at the moment but hopefully i'll get into some of those in the future as well and if you guys have any recommendations leave them down below as well then another con is that it cannot be easily connected to another strip so i know a lot of people want or a lot of people have big rooms and you guys all see it on tiktok and stuff and everybody has lights going all the way around their room this 16 foot strip is not going to get you all the way around your room and with this brand, you cannot connect them. They do not come with connectors and you cannot connect them. I'm just gonna show y'all what it looks like. This is what the end of the strip looks like. So this part right here is like, it's kind of like a sticky part that kind of got right there when I folded it over and that's how it ends. This cannot be, because it looks like this, it cannot be connected to another light. So this is the only light that you will have making it good for smaller things so like for your tv or for your the back of your headboard or maybe for like a smaller mirror that you have that would be good but if you want to get this all the way around your room you're going to have to use multiple different ones and they may not all be the same at the same time unless you put the receivers next to each other so that's just something that you should be aware of that's something that i didn't know at first which is the reason why i had to take these off my wall because it didn't really serve the purpose that I needed to if this was going to be the only one thing and I have to get different brands to make it all the way around my room. Unless you're like some crazy smart engineer or something and you have all the heating tools to do it, I just wouldn't go through all of that. You might mess up the LED light strip. So if you do want something that is longer, I would just invest in something that is longer. Then my last con that I have for these light strips is that the color is not accurate at all. 
Well, for most of the colors, it is accurate, but for the spectrum, that is from orange to green, and you'll get into that more if you use the app. If you don't use the app, it's probably not that big of a deal, and it isn't that big of a deal to me because I just like seeing the pretty lights, honestly. But if you are looking for specific colors, that is something to note. The orange doesn't really look orange. The orange kind of looks yellow. And just from orange to green in the spectrum, it just, it doesn't look like what the color looks like that you're looking at on the app. It probably sounds weird, but I'll probably show a video on the side to show y'all how that really looks. But that is something to know if you're looking for specific colors. This probably isn't going to be showing you the right colors. It still produces light. The light is still pretty. The color is still pretty. But when you pick orange, it won't be orange. <laughs> so that's just something to know as well when it comes to these lights. Overall, I still feel like the lights are good. But like I said earlier, it just didn't serve me the purpose that I needed. So I won't be using these on my wall anymore. I still will be using them. I had to figure out where I'm gonna put them, whether I'm gonna take them back to school with me or if I'm just gonna place in another area in my room. And I also have a mirror that I wanna put some lights around to make it like a vanity mirror. So I'm not sure, but I will still be keeping these. I don't plan on returning them. I still feel like they are really good. It just depends on what your purpose is. Like I said, I feel like these would be really good behind your TV if you want to double them up. It's a pretty good look to get a good lighting behind your TV or even behind your headboard as well. So I'll most definitely invest in these if the size is what you want. If the size is not what you want, I wouldn't waste my time with it. But this is my review for the Gobi LED light strips. If y'all have any more questions I didn't get to in this video, leave them down below and I'll most definitely answer them if I know the answer to them. And make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be putting out more videos like this for more LED light strips along with other college and lifestyle and hair videos. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Sincerely Drew just so you can stay more updated with me and in tune to all these videos that I make because of course I post more often and more updates and behind the scenes on there. But remember that I love you all and my name is Sincerely Drew and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!